Started me on my way. Hey, yes, the Lord, the Lord is blessing me right now. I'm looking at like me. I see all kind of hearts and all kind of stuff going on over there. I see you. I see you on um, Tango. On Tango, you are cool. I thank you very much. Winning, winning loser. You are a winning loser. How about just winning? How about just winning and never worry about being a loser? Praise God. Don't, how are you going to be a winning loser? Well, maybe somebody losing and I winning. I don't know. But I'm on the Lord's side and I win. I win. I read the back of the book. You know how you read some books and you start at the front of the book and and you're just going on through and you're reading and you're going on through and you're going on through the book. But I know the back of the story. I know the back of the book. I done went to the back of the book and the back of the book. You know what it say? It say I win. That's what it say in Revelation. It say we are overcomers. It say we win. Praise the name of the Lord. We win, family. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing when you can know. That you, you know your beginning from your end. And you look at your life and you say you win. You won. 70, 70 years. I've been through, I've seen many things. I've been through many things in 70 years. But God has been faithful. God has been faithful through all. Through all. Through it all. Because you know what? Through it all. Through the 70 years. Through it all. You know what I did? I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. Hey, Bree, how are you? I'm trying to forget, figure out how to get back engaged. The passwords, this and that, they done suspended me? I don't know what's going on. But we're getting back engaged. I pray all is well with you and yours. It's one of my beloved co-workers in our business that we are uh, aspiring in. Sister Bree, she's had challenges. But you know what? Through it all, through it all. You know what she did? You know what I've done? I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. I said through it all. I said through it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. Said I've been here for 70 years. You know what? He will see you through. He doesn't see me through. Said he'll see you through. Because I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God. I've said he will see you through. Oh, yes, he will. Just don't give up. He'll see you through. And I've learned to depend upon his word. He will make a way. He made a way for me to get to Texas for my birthday. He'll make a way. Because I've learned to trust in Jesus. And I've learned to trust in God. He will make a way. He will make a way. And I've learned to depend upon his word. Oh, I can say through it all. Through it all. Through all these 70 years. Through it all. I've learned to trust in Jesus. Oh, yes, I have. I've learned to trust in God. I said through it all. Hallelujah. Through it all. I've learned to depend upon his word. So through it all, through it all, through it all, through it all. Through everything that I have been through in life. Through the ups, the downs, through the highs and through the lows, God has been faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful you are. And Lord, faithful you've been. Faithful you are. You A faithful God, live a 
I'll sing it one more time. I said, faithful you are. Lord, you're faithful. And faithful you be. Faithful you are. You are a faithful, a faithful God. God has been good to me. Hallelujah. He's opened doors that I could not see. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh God. Glory, 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 Sister Nora Henry in the house. God bless you, my beloved sister. God bless you. Praise God, praise God. I'm just so excited. I get so excited when I think about, when I think about the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. And all he's done for me in these 70 years. My soul cries out. Hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. First, I thank him for saving my soul. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus, sometimes you got to just take time and think about what he's done for you. And all that he's done for me. Hallelujah, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. I thank God for saving me. Hallelujah. For calling me one day. Calling me. And then after he called me, he qualified me. And then he sanctified me. And then he cleansed me. And then he said, I'm going to choose you. I'm going to choose you. Little old lady, I'm going to choose you because of your faithfulness. Because you never gave up on me. You held on to my unchanging hand, regardless what came, regardless what may go, or things that happened in your life. You never let go, never let go of God's unchanging hand. Praise God, and I am just so thankful. I'm so thankful, praise God, for what God is and who he's been in my life. And Tomorrow, I plan on making it tomorrow now. Don't y'all get it twisted. I plan on making it to tomorrow. But I'm so excited because millions didn't make it. Millions, millions didn't make it. Millions didn't make it. But I'm one of the ones who did. Many, many, many didn't make it to 70. They didn't make it. But I thank God I sit here today that I am one of the ones who did. Me and my husband met a man on yesterday. Matter of fact, he was the uh, General Electric. He, all of our appliances are GE. So he came to look at one of the new things in here. And he said that he is one of 11 children. And his mother is 97 years old, still living and doing just fine. 97 years old. Now, I say that I am going after, God bless you, I appreciate you on Tango, but I don't receive any of the little things y'all be sending and stuff. I don't do that. I come on to read the word of God, to share whatever the Lord has done for me, and to get on in and get off. Praise God. But uh, 97, 97 years, that gives me encouragement and hope that I can make it to the 120. I'm going after 120. You hear me, Nora? Sister Nora? I'm going after 120, according to the word of God. That's what I'm doing. And if I don't make it, it's okay. Because I kept the faith. I kept the faith. I have the faith that approves my problems. Faith to know God can solve them. I have the faith that can conquer anything. Faith to remove the unmovable. Faith to stop the unstoppable. Faith to approve my da -da -da. faith. Faith that can conquer anything. I have the faith. Hallelujah. 
that approves my problems. Faith to know God, he can solve them. Faith to vision my freedom. Oh, I, I have faith. I'm sitting in my faith that can conquer anything. Faith to remove the unmovable. Hi, Mama. Don't know who you are. Can you give me your name? Because you know I'm Mama Pam to the whole wide world. Faith that it removes, that it approves my problems. Faith to know God, he can solve them. Faith, because without faith it's impossible to please God. You got to have faith. You got to have faith to run this race. Okay, smiling face. That's, I'm getting closer to who you are. You got to have faith to be strong. You got to have faith. Get some faith. Faith to journey on. On in the power of Jesus. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith in God. Get you a song and sing it. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith in God. The race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to him that endure to the end and continue go on. Quitters never prosper. Quitters never succeed, but have faith and you will believe. Believe in the power of Jesus. Have faith. Hallelujah. God gave me that song years, years, years ago. I forgot all about that song. But he just filling me with songs this evening. Filling me with praise. Filling me with enthusiasm and excitement. As I approach 70 years. As I approach 70 years. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh God. You're worthy. God's worthy. Almighty creator. Nanish Sean Wilson. God bless you, sweetie. And who are you? You don't have no picture. Nanise Sean Wilson. Tell me how I know you, please. Because he's worthy, God's worthy, almighty creator, alpha, omega, the beginning and the end. Say, holy, holy Lord God almighty, first and the last and soon to come. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. He's worthy, God's worthy, almighty creator, alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. Sing holy, holy Lord God almighty, first and the last and soon to come. Hallelujah, hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, yes, and yes, I can officially say happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me because my birthday celebration celebratee is on here. She said, Mom, tomorrow when I come on the broadcast in Australia, it will be your birthday. So my beloved daughter in Australia has come on, Jessica Elliott, and she says, Happy birthday, Mom, because it's my birthday. So I have made it. So millions didn't make it, but I'm one of the ones who did. I say, if I don't make it to tomorrow, to my birthday, well, praise the name of the Lord, I made it. Matter of fact, you all know one, one of the Smurf members that come on, Sister Dottie. She called me midnight last night. I didn't get the message. I didn't get the message. I don't know where I was. I was still woke. I wasn't asleep. But anyway, she said she wanted to make sure that she was one of the first to greet me a happy birthday. 
And so we were talking. I said, but sis, my birthday's tomorrow. She said, well, that's all right. Somewhere in the world, it was Wednesday. It was your birthday, I mean. Somewhere in the world, it was your birthday. So thank you, sister, beloved daughter, sister Elliot, Jessica Elliot, all the way in Australia, wishing Mama Pam a happy birthday. Praise the name of the Lord. It has been a wonderful day. What my husband did is he put a calendar. What is a calendar? Calendar over here. You can't see calendar. In the um, in this apartment that I'm living in, it's such a phenomenal, phenomenal place. We have a calendar. You see, you fool. Every day, every day, there's something going on in this apartment complex. It is an apartment complex for 55 plus active, 55 plus active seniors. 55 plus. So every day they have something on there. But what my husband did is he went down and told the peoples that I was having a birthday. And he wanted to celebrate it for a few days having Scrabble games. Because that's my passion. I love playing word games. So on here for today, 3 p.m. It says Scrabble week. Tomorrow, the 23rd, Scrabble week at 3 o'clock. And then on um, Saturday, Scrabble week. So I get a whole week, half a week, of playing Scrabble. And so I went down today at 3 o'clock, and me and my husband started the game. It's the biggest Scrabble board game I've ever seen in my life. It is a huge Scrabble game. And um, you stand up, the, the tiles are about half this size. The tiles that you use are about half this size, about half of this size. That's how big the tiles that you use to put on the Scrabble board. The board is against the wall. It's a big old board against the wall. And you play, you know, you sit down till it's your turn. When it's your turn, you go up to the board, take your tiles and put it up on the wall. Cute. I couldn't have wanted nothing more for my birthday. Praise God, then they have a big old Scrabble board. And so we play the, the Scrabble game. Now, I am not the best Scrabble player in the world. I am not. I love the game. I love the game. I'll be thankful. Oh, I see my baby on here. Hey, Felicia, I see you. I see you, daughter. I see you. Praise God. Um, I'm not the best Scrabble player, but I've been playing for some years. I'm 50, so I've been playing for at least 55, 60 years. I raised my children playing Scrabble. I love word games. My husband very seldom ever plays Scrabble. He ain't played with me in a couple years. But how come when he played, he always almost beat me? If he had the skills and knew some of the two and three letter words I knew, the brother be beating me. That don't make me too happy. I'm like, how do you do this? And I work hard playing these games, trying to keep the brain active and keep my brain sharp. Praise God. Anyway, and so then the lady came, one of the ladies in the building here, she graced me with her presence. Uh, and she came and she came late, so she said, that's okay, I just play for the fun. Just, that's, I said, no, I said, I'll tell you what, what I'll do. I will, first I said I was going to put in between. My husband had 32, I had 40. My husband had 36, and I had 42. So I was going to find another and put her in between there. She said, no, that's okay. I said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put you 42 with me. Put you right up the same, so then we're equal, right? She's coming in late, but to try to make it equal, we equalize it by putting her there. She's a good player, too. Anyway, we played and played and played, and the end was I had 212, and I think they had 160, something like that. So God is good. So that's yesterday. I pray I pray my birthday, God graces me <laughs> the same way of what I'm praying, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, so it is 857. We're going to sing this other little song, and then we are going to get into our Thursday read. And we're going to be excited for tomorrow's read, because tomorrow I will read my three. Tomorrow's Friday. I don't get no day off. I don't get no day off. It's my birthday. Jesus said, good for you. Read. <laughs> Jesus said, good for you. It's your birthday? Good. Celebrate. Read that word, girl. Thank God that your voice is back clear. Thank God that you ain't dealing with all of uh, Felicia done seen me. She been here. All this, the respiratory and the... All the stuff I've been dealing with. I have little, um, um, they put a, a notice, the uh, pollution, 
and all that stuff is in the ozone in this area. They tell you stay inside, don't go outside. It's dangerous, very high. And I know I'm itching, itching my eyes and sneezing and little crackers be coming in my eyes. So that's allergy or whatever, which happens in the seasonal to some people. Well, to God be the glory. I feel better than I felt in many, many years, I, I dare say. I'd say I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Praise God. So, um, I was going to sing. I was going to sing a song. <laughs> we come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. Every day trusting, trusting in his holy word. I'm here to tell you I, he, we, he's never failed me yet. That's why I say, oh, 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 can't turn around. We've come this far by faith. I said I've come this far by faith. Oh, yes, I have. Leaning on the Lord Every day trusting, trusting in His holy word He's never failed me yet That's why I say, oh Can't turn around You've come this far, I've come this far by faith Cause you was Talking about having that for your birthday. Oh, uh, yeah, I plan on doing a Zoom. Well, I want to do a Zoom. I got to work on them all trying to figure it out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, on the HAPS app, well, everything that I have up, actually, everything that's up, I'm just going to roll on into it on tomorrow. I would love to have the Zoom so I can have people actually come on Zoom, I actually come to Zoom and and talk and, and, and fellowship and, and, and sing happy birthday. And so that's what I would love to do if I can figure out how to do, Diane. I would love to do the Zoom. So Felicia, if in fact I figure out how to do the Zoom, then what I will do is leave everybody, just all these gadgets here, or move into my laptop, to I mean to my computer in the other room and still leave y'all in here, and then I'll be able to tell y'all what, so I don't know what tomorrow gonna be, child. I don't know, I just, I gotta wake up and see it first. And then when I wake up, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out. So the rest of the song is, he woke me up this morning, and I was close in my right mind, and he didn't, he didn't let me sleep too late, but he woke me up right on time. And so he woke me up this morning, and he woke y'all up too, don't get it twisted. And he started us on our way, hey, the Lord is blessing me. Right now, right now, right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, Lord Jesus, just thanking you, oh God. Thanking you for I got a birthday in Australia. I'm 70 in Australia, oh God. I'm still 69 in the United States, but I'm 70 in, in Australia. Thank you, oh God, for living me, letting me live, letting me live to see a 70th birthday. I'm just in awe at you, oh God. I'm in awe at you, oh God, because we don't know what 70 going to feel like, be like, till we get here. But Lord, I thank you. You have preserved me. You are a keeper, oh God. You've kept me from all hurt, harm, or danger. I've had many trials, many tribulations, many ups, many downs. But through it all, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in you, God. I said, through it all, through it all, I learned to depend upon your word. You showed me that you will bring me through. Oh, yes, you did. 
you said you'd bring me through. Cause I learned to trust in Jesus and I learned to trust in your word. You have brought me through. How did he I see? You have brought me through. Because I learned to depend upon your word. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that through it all, I learned to trust in you. Hallelujah. Our trials come to make us strong, oh God. And I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that I sit here with a reasonable portion of my health. I feel all right. I don't have no aches, no quakes other than my rib. And that's from exercise and pulling the muscle in my little rib, oh Jesus. But I can walk with the best of them. Got all my teeth, oh God. I can see. Hallelujah. I can hear. Don't need no hearing aid, oh God, oh God, oh God. I don't need no walk. I can outwalk anybody. I can do what I need to do. The facilities of my... Lord, I am just so thankful. I am so thankful that I'm not in no old folks home. How do y'all see that I have to let somebody tend to me, take care of me, that I can eat my food, I can eat anything I want to eat. I don't have to worry about no digestion. Lord, you've just been so, 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 so good to me. And I thank you, oh God, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you that you're no shorter than your word. I ask you, I, I said, Lord, I want to be in, in Texas on my birthday. I want to be in my new home on my birthday. And because of my releasing of my faith, because faith is a substance of things hoped for. It's what you hope for. And the evidence are the things that are not seen. I'm sitting in the evidence, the things that I did not see back a year ago when we started this journey, Lord. But the evidence is the things not seen. I'm sitting in the evidence, that thing that wasn't seen back then. I'm sitting in it right now, oh God. And what a wonderful, beautiful seat it is to sit in. Just giving you thanksgiving, oh God. Giving you thanksgiving, oh God. Thank you, oh God, that when I reach 70 in the United States on tomorrow, I'm not going to be running around in no club. I'm not going to be talking about who we going to turn it up. I ain't talking about smoking nothing, getting high. I'm not thinking about using no kind of drugs. I ain't never did it, never will, never have. Thank you, Jesus. Because you've kept me, oh God. You've kept me the result of the prayers of a righteous woman, my mama. My mama didn't have much, but she gave her children God. She couldn't give us money. She couldn't give us this. She couldn't give us that. She didn't have it. But she gave us God. And I thank you that I have the foundation that I have today because of my mother. So I thank you, oh God. No, Lord, I thank you for each and every one that's coming in under the sound of my voice that's coming in to the HAPS TV and to the other platforms. They're coming in from the north, south, east, and west from all over the world to hear the word of God. Not so much to hear and see me. Not so much. I appreciate them appreciating me. But they come and hear the word, oh God. The world is hungry for your word. The word, the world needs to know about you. Many people don't even know about you. So we review. We read it. We've read the whole Bible once and we're doing it again, oh God. And we will read until you tell us to stop reading. So I thank you, oh God. I thank you for a voice to read. I thank you that the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. I thank you, oh God, that you live and you move and you're happy being in, inside of us because we asked you to come in. We allowed you to come in into a bold inside of us. And we thank you. And then, oh God, we thank you that we realize we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but it's against powers. It's against principalities. It's against the rulers of darkness of this world. That's where the warfare is. Now, oh Lord, as I began to get ready to go into the read, as I get ready to go into the read, oh God, I ask that you open up my vocals. Let me read with excitement, with enthusiasm. Let me read with clarity. Let me read the word as you would have it to be read to these your sons and your daughters. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah. And we do. Call it done in Jesus' name. Watch ye therefore, you know not the day when the Lord shall call your soul away. I'm broadcasting this, I'm not going to If you're fighting, fighting for the right, I shall wear a golden crown. I 
said, I shall wear a crown. I shall wear a crown. For general reading. Uh, general reading. George, David, hello. God bless you. Um, I don't know. I, I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, but you can mess. You're on Facebook. So you can message me. Praise God. Oh, I see a bunch of stuff. This thing ain't scrolling up. I see people talking on here. And I see Diane. Praise God. Hello, everyone. Oh, okay. Okay. No, may I conceive? Okay. I don't know. Somebody on there talking. Okay. So we're all here again when you come on the HAPS app. Thank you, uh, uh, Justy33. You did all kind of stuff on here. Whoever Justy33 is, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You're my number one number one broadcast i can't i'm trying to click on it but it won't let me to try and do what i need to do all right so we're going to get ready to get into the word i'm just excited i'm excited because it's my birthday in australia <laughs> it's my birthday in australia happy birthday to me <laughs> praise god all right, so today's read is from Proverbs, the 15th chapter, and Proverbs, the 16th chapter. We will be reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads. A soft answer, Lord Jesus, a soft answer, turn of the way wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Uh-oh. I done turned the camera around. Hold on, y'all. Here we go. Y'all was looking at the background. Ain't nothing back there yet. Ain't got no furniture, nothing yet, right? Sorry about that, Facebook. Excuse me. Okay. Um, a soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Ha, the shun that idiot the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despises his father's instructions, but he that, re that regardeth reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are, be are before the Lord. How much more than the hearts of the children of men? A scorner loveth not one that reproaches him, neither will he go unto the wise. A merry heart maketh cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual peace. Better is little with the fear of the Lord than great treasures and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stall ox and hatred therewith. therewith. A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. The way of the slowful man is as a hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. 
A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth. In a word spoken in due season, how good, excuse me, how good is it? Now the way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. The Lord will destroy the house of the pride, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoices the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuses instruction despises his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Chapter 16. The preparations of the heart in man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil. Every one that hath, every one that is proud in, every one that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. My mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth transgresses not in judgment. A just weight and a balance are the Lord's. All the weight of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings, and they love him that speaketh right. The wrath of a king is as messengers as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Now pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before fall. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. The wise in his heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. My understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teaches his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Now there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that laboreth, laboreth for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is a burning fire. A forward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. A violent man entices his neighbor, and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to devise forward things, moving his lips to bring evil to pass. 
Now the hoary head, that be me, the hoary head, is a crown of glory. Let me read that again. Verse 31 of chapter 16. The hoary head, that's greater. The hoary head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit, then he that taketh a city. He shutteth his, uh-oh. See, I wrote the thing, I missed my place. He taketh the city. <laughs> where, where was I at? There is a man that seemeth white and doing There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that laboreth, laboreth for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up, diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is a burning fire. A forward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth she friends. A violent man entices his neighbor and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to devise forward things, moving his lips. He bringeth evil to pass. Okay, the hoary head is a crown of glory if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to me, the reader, and all of you, the listeners, of this precious and sacred word of God. I, again, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to still be in the land of the living. Amen. Another another day um, uh, in Australia. It's my birthday. I'm already made 70. Praise God. And then tomorrow I get to make 70 again. So God going to try me today through the night. He's going to check it out and see if he's going to let me live to see tomorrow. I think he will. I think I've been all right. I think I've been a pretty good little child for the Lord. I think he said, unless you come to me humble as a little child, you shall no ways enter in. So I plan on come out and come to the Lord humble like a little child. I try to keep myself humble before the Lord. And therefore, I plan on making it in. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. All right. It is 921. I get you in and I get you out on the 30. But we through today. We through. I, have, I got to save my talking for tomorrow. I got to do plenty of talking tomorrow. Amen. And I got to figure out how to do the Zoom between here and tomorrow. I've done Zoom once or twice, but I'm not real good with it. But we'll be good with it by tomorrow. We better be on. All right, family. I love everybody. Oh, and those of you here on the haps.tv, H-A-P-P-S dot TV forward slash at Pamela Dobson. They are made and orchestrated to be a blessing to those of us. Thank you, Jessica. They, the, or the, the broadcasting site, Haps TV, is made to support the broadcasters by giving them coins. And you add up and get enough coins, they turn into money some kind of way. So when you come on to the Haps app, if you get the Haps app, H-A-P-P-S dot TV forward slash at Pamela Dobson. If you get the Haps app, they give you coins every time you come on. 10 coins, 20 coins, 50 coins. If so, if you invite somebody and they join, if you guys uh, go to my, my platform, haps.tv forward slash at Pamela Dobson, and we ask you to sign in and this and that, but then I will get like two, 300 extra coins because I had somebody sign up for the Haps app. So you guys can bless me by giving your coins to me. If you don't have to give no money. Now tomorrow, all across the world, y'all listen to me, Lottie Dottie and everybody, <laughs> for a gift, if you want to give me a gift, I've suggested $7 because I'm going to be, I am 70, $7. That's what everybody can give. The little children say, Mama, give me $7 so I can bless Mama Pam. Give me $7 and Mama can count down $7. Okay, bless Mama Pam, $7. So we'll see. We'll see what tomorrow. People have been generous. I've been getting some way more than some $7. And I thank God for each and every dollar, for each and every gift that's been given. It's been given to a good cause on good ground. Mama Pam is good ground. Praise God. All right. So until tomorrow, I love each and every one of you. I'm going to bid you adieu. 
and go and spend another minute with my husband and finish cleaning the kitchen. He done fix me a delicious meal. I can't be eating all them big meals before I come on here because I'd be too full and too heavy to read. But he be fixing it. I can't say no. He might quit cook. I don't want him to quit cooking. So I eat and I eat. Praise God. All right. God bless. God bless. Until tomorrow. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. And we'll sing happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy. Thank you, Diane Shake. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Love you. Good night. And my Facebook family, God bless you. See